no, no, very clear. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, well, Jen's done it, you know, since December of 16 is how long Project for Your Mind has existed. And we've actually been a partner with them since November of 18. And so we've, we've had over 300 adoptions. So we're gonna pop into this store called Mud Bay real quick and shout out to Elisa and Michael for recommending this spot. You basically say you rescued an animal, you come in and they help hook you up with everything you need. So uh, we're excited to learn all that we can and get some cool stuff. So we just got back from Mud Bay and boy, did we get the come up. Look at this come up, this is crazy. So the first thing we picked up was the crate. We think this size will be adequate, but if not, Mud Bay's got a really good return policy. We could just take this back and exchange it for another. Next thing we got was the bed. And Mimi, I don't know about you, but I kind of want to try this bed out. This you, thing is pretty comfy. I think it could fit in that crate, actually. Should I try? Not now, <laughs> but if you want. To keep her company inside of the crate, we got her this cute little dino. We got her two toys, plus a bowl. One that's more uh, plushy and, and, and fluffy, and it's a dinosaur, and it's basically the traveling herbivores right here. And it squeaks like us, too. <laughs> And then we also got this little chicken. We thought this was very cute. Um, it's also a little more ropey, you know? Could probably get some tug of war in there. And what's super cool, I, toys feel like they've advanced over the couple of years, or at least since last time I bought one of my parents' pugs a toy. Um, like, look at this. It's got the little scraps from the factory showing you how this product is, like, grip-proof. Like, well, I mean, a dog could probably destroy it but i can't so that's cool to know to take her for walks we got her oh. we got her this beautiful leash and collar of course it's halloween themed so uh drop a comment down below on what you think we're gonna name her so for when it comes time to do number two we went ahead and bought like 200 poop bags. These are uh, biodegradable. Not that we're going to just toss them, but you know, nice to know that it won't sit in the landfill for the rest of its life. It might actually decompose. And then when her paws get dirty, we got this idea from Matt and Brittany. So thank you and thank you, Finn. Uh, we're going to wipe her paws after walks just to keep them clean and make sure that her paws are nice and healthy and moisturized and dirt free. Let's talk a little bit about food. Mimi has done extensive research on food and she we think we have a pretty good of idea of what to feed her, what not to feed her, but eventually we will actually do an allergy test just to make sure she just, there's not something little that uh, she might be allergic to that could possibly cause any harm. But till then, we picked up a bag of Taste of the Wild and uh, we're putting her on a pescatarian diet first because we have no idea what she's really been fed. So we think this might be something, you know, kind of help her get, you know, maybe baby steps into a plant-based diet. Uh, speaking of plant-based diet, look at these. I've never seen these before. These are, it's called Sam's Yams. They're yams, they're like dehydrated yams. So it's kind of like a, a bone alternative for a pup. And what's cool is it helps clean teeth and gums and I bet they taste really good. And if these are just yams, I kinda wanna try one as well. <laughs> now when it comes time to for training, we went with these Zookies, peanut butter and oats. Zookies. Zookies? Zookies? Zooks. They're very nice, low calorie training treats because we're gonna have to spend some time to make, I mean, we have no idea if she's house trained. We have no idea if she can survive or if she can sit. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of things we're gonna have to figure out. So might as well give her some nice, healthy kibble to train along the way. Now to keep that kibble in, I'm actually really excited about this. We got one of these rough wear bag holders. I'm sure you've seen them before, but it clips onto your belt. And bonus, it's got a little uh, doggy poop bag holder. But what it does is it opens up and it's got like, I don't know, a piece of metal or something in there that kind of props it open. And you put your kibble in there and um, yeah, just have it on the side while you're training. So we're really excited to put this on our waist while we're training here. So that's what we got. 
I think we're really excited. How are you feeling, Mimi? Excited, nervous. I hope she'll like us. We're only a week away. A week away. It was going to be longer too, but uh, we manifested definitely yeah. getting her sooner. So we get a random email in the middle of the week that's like, "Hey, we're putting we're putting her on a transit uh, a week sooner." So it's like, "Oh crap! Now we gotta go out and <laughs> get this stuff now." So uh, one week. <laughs> and again, you see them opening and closing the door in between dogs just for safety purposes. Oh, just so that we can oh, see. Without safety, that's why we also use slip leads as opposed to harnesses or just using a leash attached to a collar. Um, sometimes Aww. dogs can be all crafty and even get out of harnesses. Oh, I wonder if she's never been on stairs before. No, you wanted a toy. Yeah. What is that? It's for you. It's your first toy. You can grab it if you want. Okay, I'll be right here when you're ready. Did she spit it out? 